Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is January 30th, and uh, this is the last day of, uh, of our big event that we've had going on. I first and foremost want to thank everybody that has made it uh, and has logged on and has been watching uh, our conference series. And uh, it's been a, a tremendous success for us. We've had a lot of people watching. Um, but today we're going to go through beans as well as livestock. So it's not too late to get registered. Uh, you can do that online or call us. We'll be happy to help you with that. But it's been a big, tremendous success for us so far. Uh, and we hope to, to bring that to you again here today. Um, as far as the grains, we've got corn, beans, and wheat right now higher due to export sales. When I came in this morning, sat down, we were... We were lower in beans, uh, corn and wheat, uh, barely higher. But we're three higher right now in corn. We got beans up two and a half now, so turned higher, with wheat up three and three quarters cents. Export sales very good for corn. Now they were expecting to see 550,000 to 750, came out at 1.943. Now 1 1.8 of that uh, is old crop, so we are finding demand. Um, we have seen some uh, some strong purchases over the last week, as, as we show here, uh, but be careful of that. So a lot of times uh, those have been done in the past, and we've already priced that in. So we'll see what happens. But strong export sales today, giving a boost uh, in the market right now. Beans, 750 to just over a million was the expectation. Uh, came out at 865.8, .8. so pretty decent uh, there as well, but still neutral overall. Uh, wheat 350 to 550, better than expected. Came in at 796.9. So that's what's given uh, some confidence here for wheat. Now we've seen wheat push into new lows yesterday, um, and and really uh, continue this trend. We need to find some positive news like this in order to maybe really get us to to find some kind of strength. Now rallies probably still need to be sold, um, but uh, it is nice once we start getting a little bit of positive news once again. Uh, as far as the markets, though, uh, today we may find some more quieter markets uh, chopping around, maybe adjusting to these export sales. Um, but the main focus uh, on beans, certainly uh, South American weather right now probably is going to be a little bit more negative. Uh, we do have some rain in the forecast. Uh, but there has been, you know, now that we've seen the demand kind of diminish, you still have that sense of uh, China canceling beans from the U.S. shifting purchases to Argentina. Uh, we heard more talk of that yesterday. Um, is that going to continue right now? That may end up capping uh, any kind of rally that we see yet for these beans. Um, as far as livestock, we've got cattle right now down 20 cents. Box beef lower last night as well. Uh, we've seen this decline. We've, we had the big peak here last week. Now we're starting to uh, kind of trickle down I don't want to say tumble, but uh, you know we've we, we are breaking back pretty hard. Choice down 399, select down 324. So uh, we are starting to take back a lot of the gains that we had made over the last few weeks. Um, we've been hearing cash trading uh, two to three dollars lower than last week as well. Uh, so keep your eyes on that here today and uh, what kind of effects we may have. Um, as far as the hogs, now yesterday we saw some fun buying. So we've seen the hogs trying to find some kind of a, a bottom in here uh, and really try to catch some strength. Now, some of the back months have already done that. And the reason for that is the, the fear of uh, this PED uh, situation to, to really come into play. Because as of right now, we've, we've not seen it reflect any, uh, any concern on the market uh, for it. But in these back months, now we're starting to hear more cases uh, and we're, we're hearing a lot more problems out there. So that may affect these hogs. And we've seen the funds come in here uh, trying to buy them. Now, we did have cutouts down about $0.22 cents yesterday. Um, but the Packers feel like they probably will get the inventories. Now things are going to warm up. Uh, so we might see this nearby contract still struggle, where some of the back months may end up continuing to firm up on the PED uh, issues. As of right now, stock market trying to bounce a little bit. Uh, we've seen this for the last few days. And then it turns south in a hurry, uh, and we've seen it f uh, continue its decline. But uh, we are trying to trying to stay uh, stay higher as of right now, and we'll see if we can do that throughout the day. The Fed announced yesterday that it's going to taper another 10 
uh, 10 billion uh, dollars uh, in bond buying uh, so we'll see what kind of reflection that we get from that but conference today we've got beans and livestock we're going to go through a very in-depth look uh, for this 2014 outlook and uh, certainly invite you to uh, to make that if you've not already registered but you can give us a call over here 800-262-7538 or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com i hope you guys have a great day we'll talk to you again tomorrow take care